Welcome back. I know you're scrolling through YouTube right now looking for another love relationship video. This is Priestess and Medium Rosalind, and I want you to know you're not alone. I know that a broken heart is one of the hardest things to get over. Sometimes it's our own fault, trusting too much. Sometimes we just get involved thinking it's going to be fun. And then we end up feeling so moved and so attached to this person in our life. Whatever you decide, whether you want to stay and watch another love relationship reading, or if you want to skip past this, I just want you to understand my gifts are sincere and genuine. I've had them since I was a little girl. And yes, I use my gift skills, tarot and channeling, and my ability to work with root work and conjure to help others. It's part of my life purpose. So you can sit back and enjoy another love and relationship reading. But this time, just know how genuine it is and it's from the heart. Take care. And if you ever want one-to-one, -one, my information is below. Gemini, welcome in. You're part of the soul family. It's good to see you. Are you ready to hear your in-depth messages? Gemini, his priestess and medium, Rosalind. And this message is going to cover um, general things about family, work, love, um, you know, it's like a combination. That's why it's called an in-depth reading, Gemini. So I hope you're ready to hear your messages. And I'm happy to spend this time with you, okay? All right, what's going on for Gemini? What is the energy, family work, general things going on with Gemini? Then I'm going to tune into a couple of love questions for you, okay? All right. Patience and planning, spiritual strength, partnerships and alliances. Okay, I feel like just looking at this is really awesome, Gemini. On the bottom is rejoice and celebration. This is really a lot of your energy here. Um, what's happening is you're going to plan, okay, together with other people. Okay, you're planning for wealth, success, new job opportunities, entrepreneurial opportunities, um, gaining patience and spiritual strength along the way while you're praying and asking and hoping for these things. But I'm seeing specifically, you're going to have help from other people that are going to help bring this together for you. I'm also hearing this is going to be really prosperous for you. For some of you, I feel like you're definitely going up a step higher in the ladder with your money, with the people that you know, your popularity, your growth. Um, it feels like a lot of your talent is being guided by a spirit guide. That's what I'm seeing here. Um, there's a spirit guide and you're connecting to this money flow and this um, notoriety being known and taking this step up into this higher place of your job, career, uh, your own business, your own public speaking. It's like your own representation. Um, this green here and this gold, okay, it's like you've been planning for this. It's like a lifetime of wealth and opportunity coming together. And these people that you partnershiped with, you formed an alliance with these people. These people are ready to rejoice in celebration for you. You see that? They want to explore this. They want to see your talents and gifts really go to the next level. They want to see everything go well because they've been in this patience and planning with you for a long time. Um, I feel like this is going to take you to this place in your life where you are able to have relaxation. You're able to spend more time with your family, with your love. You're able to do your own kind of retreating when you want to. OK, so I feel like whatever this is, your goals and talents are really coming to the surface and you're going to be able to make money from it. OK, that's really a good message. It's very powerful for you in particular, Gemini. That's what I'm getting here. Let's look into your love. Find out what's going on in that very romantic, personal, deep part of your life, Gemini. What's going on for Gemini's love? What should they know right now 
for Gemini's love. What should they know right now? For Gemini's love life, what's happening with the love energy for Gemini? Gemini. What is happening for Gemini's love? What is happening for Gemini's love? Let's see here, Gemini. We have the hangman. Move these. We have the eight of swords. Okay. A lot of tension and stress here with the love. Six of swords. Wow. Let's see what else is here. Four of pentacles. The sun. Okay, Gemini, you may have been involved with someone who is really stressing you out here, okay? This whole love aspect is almost like um it's almost like you had so much stress from being stuck and not knowing how to get out of this that it mentally wore you out here. I can see the fighting. I can see the stress of not knowing what's going to happen next with this person. This person could have literally had um choices here that they made but instead of them making the right choices to be in a healthier partnership with you they made some choices that really took you to the limit made it made it hard for you you know you were obsessing arguing um bitter things said to one another i'm also seeing that someone could have literally been in a situation and it was like it wasn't going to be a good thing no matter what like they could have had you know, jail, treatment plans, not taking their meds, like really a lot of that kind of stuff going on. And it made it hard for you. Um, you decided to walk away from this. The Six of Swords, you turn your back on this situation because you wanted to move on to enlightenment and better things in your life that feel good. Good things that you felt peaceful and balanced about that you felt you deserve, Gemini. Okay. Now, I do see that this may have involved some money issues also with this person, okay? This could have been a Leo. Um, it could have been a Leo, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, some somewhere in that earth realm energy, but also a lot of this uh, Leo energy I'm seeing as well. But the good thing about this, Gemini, is that you're walking away without all this depression, I'm seeing you go much, much further on the bottom. We have the chariot. We have the eight of wands here in reverse, which means you and this person really aren't going to communicate. You're not really going to communicate. You're going to go ahead in your life energy. And I think that's why your general read was so good with the money flow and really working on your talents and skills. Because with the chariot, you're moving forward. Okay. And I don't see that the two of you have that communication that may just clear up and things seem very good between the two of you. It doesn't seem that way. Okay. Ace of Pentacles is like a brand new beginning here. And I think if you go backwards, you're going to start into all of this fighting again with the five of wands, fighting with this person, not understanding this person, like really not, not being able to have that momentum and freedom that you need, Gemini. Okay, so you're going forward. I'm seeing a lot of good things for you coming out of whatever this was here. Okay, all right, Gemini, take care. And remember, you make your own decisions. You follow up with how you feel and what may be a trigger for you. And you can make the best decisions because you're the one experiencing the, experiencing the energy and information here. Okay, I'll talk to you again soon, Gemini. Take care. Bye-bye.